because we have a death penalty, it gives, it allows prosecutors at the present time to elect to charge an individual capitally. And if you do that, then because of what the United States Supreme Court has said, all of the ABA requirements come into play. Two attorneys, both of whom have to be death qualified, and in, in this state, there are just a mere handful of individuals who are death qualified. I am not, I have not tried a, a capital case, although I've participated in appeals. Um, you have to have individuals um, with investigators, you have to have deterrent uh, experts, you have to have mental he health experts and the like. As a consequence, a death case is front end loaded with a large cost. I would estimate in every one of those, somewhere between four hundred to seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars of additional money up front. You may never carry out that execution even if you achieve a guilty verdict, even if you achieve a recommendation from the jury for a death penalty, but you spent that money up front as we did in many of these other cases. The money was spent and then at a later time the courts have overturned it. Additionally, because of the appellate process, there is an additional cost per year per inmate, probably about $100,000 per year per inmate who's under a death sentence because of the, if you will, unique ways in which the court allows those death penalty cases to be reviewed first at the state level and then at the federal level. 